Instead of constantly feuding with rebels and insurgents, the palace issued executive orders and proclamations to urge them to return to society and live a more stable and peaceful life. Back in the folds of the law, Alan Francisco has the full report. Malakanyang issue the executive order and proclamations granting amnesty to rebels and insurgents to encourage them to return to the folds of the law. Executive Order Number no. 47, signed by Executive Secretary Lucas Bersamin, amends the Executive Order Number no. 125, Series of 2021, or the creation of the National Amnesty Commission. According to President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., the functions of the National Amnesty Commission needs to be updated so that it also covers the processing of applications for amnesty under the new proclamation. The commission created under EO number no. 125 will continue and will only dissolve when it completes its mandate or as determined by the president. Under proclamation number no. 403, President Marcos grants amnesty to members of the Revolutionary Party of the Workers of the Philippines, Revolutionary Proletarian Army, Alex Buncayao Brigade, who have committed crimes punishable under the revised penal code and special penal laws. This proclamation does not cover kidnap or ransom, massacre, rape, terrorism, violations of the Comprehensive Drugs Act of 2002, and others. Proclamation number no. 404 was also issued to grant amnesty to former members of CPP and PANDF. This amnesty does not cover kidnap or ransom, massacre, rape, and others. The chief executive also issued Proclamation Numbers 405 and 406 granting amnesty to MILF and MNLF members who have committed crimes punishable under the revised penal code and special penal laws. Meanwhile, the Philippine National Police is elated on the development saying this is the reason why NTF LCAC was created with the goal of ending insurgency in the country. This will answer all the lingering question na doon sa mga pangamba at uh, apprehension po ng ibang pang mga kapatid nating uh, nasa bundok na ayaw pang bumaba ng bundok because uh, natatakot sila at nangangamba sila na kapag ka bumaba sila ay sila ay aarestuhin. Uh, ito ay magandang sinyalis po na bukas po talaga ang inyong uh, national government para, para yakapin itong nagbabalik loob. At doon sa mga nauna ng nagbalik loob, sila yung unang uh, mabibigyan ng uh, ika nga, ng... Uh, ng benepisyo dito sa amnesty na inilabas ng ating presidente para tuluyan ng uh, maghilom yung mga sugat ng mga dati pang labanan between the government at yung uh, uh, sa pagitan po ng gobyerno at yung mga membro po ng CPP. Alan Francisco, for the nation.